So the manufacturers are more screwed up than a pile of coat hangers. And they, they're pursuing EVs. And um, EVs are, are great technology, but when you think about some of the associated cost of the EVs and the price points of the EVs and the repair cost on an EV, uh, you run over a curb with a Tesla, you have a twenty-eight thousand dollar repair on, you know, to replace the battery. If you know the the, the uh, insurance companies are choosing to total them, so <laughs> you look at the repair cost on EVs; it, it's it's phenomenal. I'll say this, you could take a look at the road up to uh, Big Bear and the Mammoth, and it's littered with bumpers and fenders of Teslas. Out here in California, there are a lot of Teslas. You know, I think it's, it's, oh, absolutely. it's a geographic choice. Uh, but they can't handle the winter. The snow and the ice is tears, tears, tears them to shreds. And another thing that a lot of people didn't realize, and I, nor did the manufacturer, that the batteries run so hot. So as the snow melts and the battery cools down after it's turned off, it creates a giant ice cube underneath the vehicle. You can't even move it. Not only that, but um, you turn on the air conditioning or you turn on any of the accessories, you try to haul a load with it, and, and the, the range goes down tremendously, especially in the trucks. Mm -hmm. So if, if you have a work truck, uh, the only time you get the range that advertises is if you haul it empty and don't turn on any of your accessories.